you might ask, how can I print faster in order to make more money per hour? There are a number of things you can do to increase your speed and therefore your profit per hour. One of them is use a Newman screen because when the mesh is real tight within that frame, it's not moving around and therefore you can handle that screen up and down and rotating on a press faster and not worrying about the image being out of registration. And when screens are real tight like that, you don't get the ink build up as long as your ink is mixed reasonably well. You don't want a real thick ink. You want the ink to shear very easily. But if that screen is real tight, you don't get the ink build up, so you don't have to take time to wipe the bottom of screens. So you're printing instead of cleaning bottoms of screens. So there's another benefit. You, you want to have a really tight screen, and you want it in a real stable press, not one that's flimsy flam that's going to move around or the platens are bounding up and down on you. You want to be able to really move and not worry about where that screen is hitting. So the screen and the press are very important. Capillary film is another way to increase productivity because two things. One is you're not going to get the pinholes with capillary that you're liable to get with liquid emulsion because when you put it on, you're putting it on with plain water that flushes the screen of any dust. Pinholes typically come from dust that you're coating over with liquid and you've eliminated that problem. So you're eliminating pinholes that couldn't, can occur while you're printing with liquid emulsion. So that speed, you're eliminating the downtime. And also with capillary, it's underneath the mesh. And you can buy capillary in different thicknesses. So you'll use a thickness that gives you the opacity. And therefore, you can eliminate flash curing. That usually is an increase in productivity of 400%. Where do I get that number from? Ask the typical screen printer if he's printing, say, one color white ink on a black shirt, flash cures and prints again, how many is he going to do per hour? Most people say 35 per hour. Now I ask the same guy, hey, if you're printing black ink on a white shirt, of course there's no flash, how many do you do an hour? 100, 120. That's 400% difference. So if we can put that white down without flash curing on a black shirt, we got it. Black, blue, whatever the color is, you can achieve opacity by controlling the stencil thickness as long as you have the tight screen. Okay, and you also want to use a shim on the uh, platen. This is just a piece of cardboard. You can cut it out of a carton and you tape that to the neck of the platen. So when you bring the screen down, the screen rests on this cardboard and the other end of the screen is in the channel clamp and that's in a color I'm resting in the off contact bolt and you should be setting up with 1 8 inch plexiglass so the screen is parallel to the shirt but not quite touching the shirt and when you press down on the squeegee the frame is not able to bow because you got the shim so that means you put down just a little bit more ink sharper cleaner print eliminating flash curry it speeds up your business so that's another uh, way uh, you, can, you can increase your productivity. Now there are others. Obviously if you have a conveyor dryer as opposed to full cure with a flash, that's going to help. You're going to need that. The, um, you want to have a sharp squeegee. So what you should be doing with the squeegee is after each job or before the next job, sharpen it. These edges are just like razor blades. They're very sharp. And between jobs we would put the squeegee in this homemade contraption and then just run the squeegee blade right down the sandpaper. And what this is, it's just a fine grid of sandpaper. We stood the squeegee straight up on the sandpaper and then we got, this happens to be Delrin, but it could be anything, metal. And we, we put those in from both sides of the squeegee to support the squeegee in a vertical position and then screw them into the board and the uh, sandpaper. And that way we can draw the squeegee down and what that will do, it will uh, sharpen the edge. So you have a nice sharp squeegee and with a nice sharp squeegee you're able to cut the ink faster, cleaner, get a much, much better print. So that's another one. And then last but not least is ideal ink. A lot of the inks like Union's um, Ultra Soft and their Unimatch print beautifully right out of the can, just stir them a little bit. But when you get into the heavily pigmented inks like athletic inks, polyester inks, the Max Opaque inks, 